What's going on guys? Welcome to Spurred On. Now look, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why is he all suited up? Why is he so dapper? No, I haven't come from Liverpool's funeral. I'm not applying to be the next Real Madrid manager. I am here for the Spurred On end of season awards. Now look, I know you're probably thinking, is he going to give out awards today? I'm not. It's all about you guys. So look, I'm going to give you the nominees for each category and you guys just leave your winner down below. All right, so let's go in with the first one. And the first category is the player of the season who isn't Harry Kane. Look, we all know Harry Kane was player of the season. He scored like 31 goals. He was absolutely amazing for us. But there are other players in the squad. They've got to get a mention too. So the three that we have chosen here at Spurred On to be in this category, the nominees, the first one has to be Danny Rose. I mean, he's been phenomenal. He's improved. Uh, he hasn't given Ben Davis a chance, let's be honest. Couple injuries, but he's been phenomenal. The second, Hugo Lloris. How many times has he saved our bacon? The gorgeous Frenchman that he is. Those hands, so safe. He knows what to do. Hopefully he stays. But the second one's Hugo Lloris. And the third one has to be Nabil Bentaleb. What a beast. He doesn't look like a beast, but he's still a beast. All right, he does a bit. He's got a bit of a scar and he's got a bit of a rugged tone to him. But he's had an amazing season as well. So those are the three nominees for the player of the season who isn't Harry Kane. Let us know who you want to win below. All right, so the second category is for the goal of the season. Now, we've got some amazing goals in this category. The first nominee has to be Eric Lamella's Rabona in the Europa against Astralopophilus Pythagoras. Just the Greeks. The amazing Rabona he did. We was all in awe. There was vines all over social media. He's the first nominee. The second nominee has to be Harry Kane's sweet header against Arsenal for the second goal. He ran off. I ran around my house. I think every Spurs fan around the world just went completely mental when it went in. That's the second nominee. And the third nominee has to be Christian Eriksen's amazing free kick against Sheffield United in the second leg of the Capital One Cup. I mean, come on. He put it down. All right, Lamella did a pointless kind of run over the ball, a silly little dummy. But then he just hit it, pinpoint, straight off the bar, in. Amazing. Those are the three nominees for the goal of the season. Remember, you guys choose the Spurred On community, so leave your selection below. All right, so now it's time for the third category. And this is an interesting one, because here at Spurred On, we don't just talk about football. We're completely Spurs obsessed. Anything that goes on or off the pitch, we have to cover. So this is the Family Man Award. So we're going to kick it off with Eric Lamella. Now, if you've been following his social media, which you should be, he's been posting pictures of him with his family on Boris Bikes, him and his girlfriend in Marbella. This guy is such a family man. So he's the first nominee. The second nominee is going to be Christian Eriksen. Now, this guy loves to post pictures with his girlfriend, kissing, you know, PDAs, public displays of affection, absolutely everywhere. He's the second one. The third one is Emmanuel Adebayor. We know he's been, you know, talking about his family on Facebook, social media rants, good or bad. I don't know, you guys decide. Who wins the Family Man of the Year award? Let us know in the comments below. All right, so the fourth category is the Bad Barnet Award. Now, if anyone knows hair, I know hair. Not bad barnet, it's good barnet. So I'm, I'm good, I'm liable to judge with this. So the nominees we have for this category, and remember, this is about who has bad haircuts. The first one is Danny Rose. I mean, come on, Danny. Seriously, red? You're from North London, the real only North London side, and you dye your hair red. Well, anyway, he's the first one. The second one is Nasser Chadley. Top knot. Are you serious? A top knot? It just looked like a like what my five-year-old sister had, just a little top knot with a bow, and that's a, uh. And then the third one has to be Emmanuel Adebayor with his Juan Cuadrado style dreads. He had little twists. Emmanuel Adebayor's had some crazy haircuts over the years, but this one, I don't know, cry of help maybe, midlife crisis. That is the fourth category. Let us know who you want to win the Bad Barnet Award in the comments below. All right, so the fifth category is the Schoolboy Error Award. Now, I absolutely hate schoolboy errors. We all do. But let's go with the first one. Danny Rose, once again. Dying your hair red. That is a schoolboy error. The second one, Saldaldo. I'm going to say this in the most... Oh, this, it was just despicable. The miss pass against Fiorentina could have paid a simple ball for Chadley to tap it into an open goal, and he fluffed that. He's not capable of anything. And then the third schoolboy error is just Kirakesh's life since the day he was born. Just being Vlad Kirakesh is a schoolboy error. And unfortunately, I just wish he didn't exist. I wish he wasn't conceived. So that is the fifth category. Let us know who wins that in the comments below. It's going to be a tough one. They're all schoolboy errors, but I don't know. You guys decide. All right, so this has been the Spurred On End of Season Awards. Now, guys, remember, let us know who you want to vote for in each category below. This is about you guys. 
And if you have any categories, any interesting little ones that you want to put forward, we will pick the best one in next week's episode and we'll also be giving out these amazing awards. Guys, remember, subscribe, make sure you follow Spurred On on Twitter. You know, just get involved in the community. This is about you guys. We're building Tottenham's presence online. I've been Craig Mitch and this has been Spurred On. This week, Spursy, is not necessarily that topical to the week. It is actually the entire season. What a Spursy season. 